What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be playing some Forza Motorsport 7. I used to play this game a lot back on console just with the controller. This is uh, the first uh, time ever, well not the first time ever playing it with this uh, rig. I've played it a few times since I made it. But this is the first rig I've ever had or played any kind of Forza game with the steering wheel and pedals and shifter, you know. The whole thing. So, I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of how I use the rig and stuff. I got a camera right here on the pedals, so you can see how I'm shifting. Got one just facing me right here, so you can see me driving as well. And uh, if you guys like the, the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get to it. So I'm gonna be using a, a super, a Subi. I love Subarus. I have one, I have an STI just like that. It's just white. And I love the car. It's, it's awesome. It's, it's pretty awesome. All right, and we're gonna be racing on Laguna Seca. This is one of my favorite racetracks as well. I know, I, I like Mazdas, I guess. I work on a lot of Mazdas. And Mazda Laguna Seca is like my favorite racetrack. <laughs> It's just a good racetrack. I would really like to go there in real life and check it out. All right. All right, here we go. A little, I grinded the gear a little right there. Just gotta get it. Used to kind of shift in it, okay. And also, it's kind of hard to talk when uh, I'm trying to concentrate. And the drive guitars, they are on. They're on expert right now. There's two levels above expert. There is a uh, pro and unbeatable. But I don't know. I don't. I can barely keep up with them on expert. And this guy right here, I tapped him. They're okay, come on. Jesus! sideline now so he's not gonna be able to push me. I gave him a little bit of room so I didn't push him. Alright. Alright now I gotta catch up to these guys. so hard and try to give him enough space to give him the inside just in case okay he's back there all right I gotta catch up to this guy now I'm using the track a little bit Do what I gotta do to, cap to catch up. Okay. Oh, at first there's a Subi just like mine. Definitely closing the gap. 
All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on, reel him in. Reel him in. Taken first. All right, let's make sure we keep it. on like a like a rig like this before I highly suggest you try it it's not it's not crazy like expensive either to set up I think I found this wheel at, I found it at Best Buy it was an open box it was like for 220 and then the shifter was I think it was like $59 for the for the for the manual shifter and then I spent about $43 on wood and uh, and supplies and then I just cut it all up and made it pretty much work. It's it's a pretty nice little rig. But yeah, Forza is a freaking awesome game. When I'm racing, I use, uh, you can see that little line on the turns. It just tells me when I should brake. And that's pretty much what it's telling me. Yellow means that you can kind of coast through it. And red means you need to be braking now. And let's see. And yeah, there's a few different difficulties. There's two difficulties ahead of Expert. There's like Pro and then Unbeatable is the last difficulty. So Expert's actually pretty hard already. So I'm probably going to just race on Expert for a little while, get better at it. And then I'll switch to Pro. Maybe by the next time I make a video, I'll try it on Pro and see uh, what kind of difficulty these guys are at. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's the rig right here, the pedals. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.